In this video, we introduce you to a naive Gauss elimination. Okay, so Gauss elimination, I, I've, I've gone ahead and written this up here. Uh, we have a, a system of equations, and, and this is a 3 by 3 system, but it, it'll apply generally. A11, A12, so we have all the elements of A times this x vector is equal to B. And so what we do in, in Gauss elimination is we, we take and, and we write this matrix A, and we, we write it as an augmented matrix, so let me take this uh, B here, and we put B in there, and we just put it in here, and uh, da, 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 right, just have this vertical line here. Okay, so we draw it that way, a and what we do is we go through here, and so as we move from step one to step two, so this is step one, and let's take and, and copy this again. I'm going to copy this a few times here. Yeah, that'll be nice. Well, no, we can, we'll just put them down here. Okay, so we got a few copies here. All right, so what we do here is we go, let's get a brush back. We start with this system and we, we multiply. So uh, let me just write out here. So this is equation one, this is equation two, and this is equation three. And there's the x in there and, and it's there too. Uh, we just don't, don't track it. Um, and so step one, so you multiply uh, multiply 1 by uh, a21 over a11 and so uh, what and then and and let's just go ahead and write out that result so that's going to be uh, let's see uh, a21 a11 so the a11s are going to cancel so that's going to be just a21 and then in this in the second spot we're going to have uh, a12 so I'm just writing out that a12 uh, a21 uh, over a11 and then in the third spot we're going to have a13, A21 over A11, and then we're going to have B1 times this A21 over A11. Okay, so that's uh, that's what we're going to have, and then uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, subtract this. Yes. Subtract this result from 2. Okay, and what that's going to result in is a 0 here. Okay, and then we're going to call this A22 prime, A23 prime, and, and B2 prime. And if we write out what those are, you can see that a22 prime equals, uh, it's going to be a22 minus a12, a21 over a11. And similarly, we're going to have an a23 prime equals uh, a23 three minus uh, we have to look uh, at this this portion here uh, a13 a21 over a11 and then we're going to have a b1 prime uh, not a b1 prime excuse me a b2 prime equals uh, b2 minus b1 
B1A21 over A11. Okay, and so that's what we come up with here. And so we've zeroed out this uh, entry in the matrix. And then what we're going to do in the next step, since we've already got a zero here, and this is A22 prime and A23 prime and B2 prime, then what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to zero out this entry here in the same way. And namely, uh, let's just namely we're going to multiply equation one, the same equation one, we're going to multiply equation one not by a21 uh, over a11, what we'll do is we'll multiply uh, one by, uh, it'll be a31, a31 over uh, a11, a31 over a11, and th and then uh, whatever we get for the result there and subtract from 3 okay subtract that from 3 and that will get us a 0 there okay so we got a 0 there, 0 there uh, this will be an a32 prime and this will be a b3 prime and so just just copying that down here then a zero a two two prime a two three prime d two prime. We've got a zero here, and this is primed already. Okay, uh, and and in, in a very similar way, we, we just have the primes uh, propagating in the same way. Uh, the next thing then we do we do is we come through, and we zero out this entry. We want to zero out this entry here. Okay, and in order to zero out this entry here. Uh, we'll multiply 2, it just keeps going in the same way as, as before, so we'll multiply multiply uh, 2, uh, and, and actually uh, we'll have to uh, 2 prime, so let's say, let's go back up here a little bit, just naming these, we're going to have still 1, this is 2 prime, and this is 3, and this is 1, 2 prime, and 3 prime, 1, 2 prime, 3 prime, and so we're going to multiply 2 prime by, give room here, we'll multiply 2 prime by uh, a a three two prime over a two two prime, okay, and then we'll subtract the result of that from uh, two prime. Uh, no from 3 prime, excuse me, from, th uh, from, th come on, my pen's not working here, subtract from 3 prime, all right, subtract from 3 prime, and when we do that, that zeroes out that entry here, exactly, and the other thing it's going to do is it's going to turn this not into 3 prime, but, well, this will be double prime here, and the double prime just indicates that they've been uh, modified twice. Okay, so once we go through all that, uh, then we have this system that is actually, and uh, let me pick a different color here. So now we have this, all the lower diagonal of this is zeros, right? And so we just have this upper triangular, right? So this is upper triangular, and that's actually uh, ripe for substitution. See, we've already solved for x3. Uh, this equation, if we write it out here, the bottom equation is a33 prime uh, x3 uh, equals uh, b3 uh, double prime. So we've completely solved that equation, and so then we can take the result of that 
and we can plug that in uh, right here so we can plug the result in here and plugging that result in here that gives us uh, x2 so then we solve so that was solving for and then we solve for so this was solving uh, well x3 is given by so then we solve for x2 uh, by substitution and then finally uh, we can solve for x1 by substituting x3 and x2 which we have and so we, we see if you look at that there then we substitute those other values into here and voila we're done okay so uh, just just to recap here uh, this first step of, of zeroing out all these lower uh, diagonal uh, th this lower triangular part not the diagonal but all the below the diagonal zeroing that out is called uh, forward elimination and going through and substituting back in is called back substitution okay so we have two steps we have the forward elimination step and the back substitution step